We're at the next job site and I got to do a little drainage correction but I'm gonna have to scrape a little grass off. I looked at this job maybe July. I don't know the corn wasn't even growing last time I was here so it could have been earlier than that. Back along here I guess it kind of dips down here and all the water from this field is running this way but it's actually supposed to be running out that way. So if I can kind of leave a little bit of a swell or even a berm on his side and notch some of that out, this kind of get this corner to drain out and then reshape all of this. I may even take a little bit of dirt and add into there and try to build and slope that up and kind of get him a nice, easy, mowable ditch back. This is the tricky part of when you come and look at stuff and then it's been months and then, like I said, that grass wasn't even, it may have been two or three inches tall, so it was a lot easier to read the ground than what it is today. Then I'm going to re-rock this entire driveway and then I'm actually going to widen it up uh, up there by the house. That's actually, I got more work to do up there than what I do at this end. We will get unloaded and start trying to make something of this mess. Try to, uh, I think that gate swings in, hopefully. Yeah, this is gonna be fun.
Well, that was a whole lot easier going out than it was trying to get in here, so. We'll go back down there and kind of cut that one corner and I may have to bring another load back here. Or I'll bring the loader back and knock down my pile of grass, but uh, yeah, we'll go try to get that finished up. This is some fantastic dirt, which I know you guys can't see because it's dark, but we'll uh, hit it with the prep rater again in the morning and then get on to the driveway. So I'm gonna load everything up or go park it up to the top for this evening. We'll catch you guys tomorrow. Well, it was going good until the uh, prep rater just stopped turning, but I think I figured out why. <laughs> Looks like I had a chain, the link came apart that needs to go up and around there but i may have enough stuff in my truck it's just i need to bend that back out and try to find some little uh cotter pins maybe but uh, that's aggravating because i was almost done prepping and then uh, i actually was going to try to use this on the driveway to loosen now that i've been using these harley rigs it's kind of i don't know enticing me to try this one on different things like that but I'm like an hour away from the shop, so we may just uh, get by with the bucket, I guess. I think that's gonna work here because that was about and maybe a little over in that field but kind of where he mowed because like he said next week they're gonna come in here and harvest that and they pull in he said sometimes they pull in off his driveway or kind of right up through this ditch so there wasn't really any point I didn't see 
wasting seed and stuff is I think they're gonna come out here and disc it. Now they're talking about coming down further because this corner never drained before. Hopefully his uh, straw will stay here. I don't know if he's got enough hose to reach down here. And it's like 86 and a south wind at like 30 miles an hour, it seems like, so. But at least it'll get, uh, maybe even the majority of it'll stay and he can try to get some water on there. But now we're gonna pick up our tools up and probably run up and down the driveway and just cut this grass and junk out of the middle. And then I'm going to go up there and try to scratch the grass off in one spot. <clears throat> and then it's about lunchtime. Uh, try to go and get maybe four loads of rock. Because I think this says this quarry closes at like 3.30 or 4. So just get a spot where I can set that in there, dump that, and then get back here and work on trying to strip the rest of the grass off and move that. That way I got my material here for tomorrow. And hopefully finish this up. So yeah. We'll get the loader going, uh, pick all that up, and go get some rock. We're going to widen, kind of widen this up with the rock. I think I was kind of making a radius, I believe. And this is going to go to here. We may end up just taking all this out. And this is all be rock. So I'm going to kind of widen up their turnaround. Like I said, I may just take it over to that door. Because then I've also got a high spot. You can kind of see around the edge of their porch over there. All the water runs over there. So I'm going to try to cut kind of both directions there and bring that this way. We're going to leave the center. It's going to kind of make an arc. the preparator Up around to there and now I think we're going to kind of make a radius over there since this is all new this wasn't here before and he's got that gate that gate and that gate so we're just gonna tie all that in together it's kind of gonna make a, not a very good radius Basically, we'll just kind of skim the grass off and then just top coat it. I may take a little bit of this dirt down because, like I said, there's. It looked like there was rock here before when I tried to run the preparator over some of this, but we'll get this cut out and then uh, he's got some spots out there in the field I can take and dump the grass. But then we're going to finish up what's up front and I'm going to strip all the grass off here and then. Probably start cutting on that, but I may go get some loads of rock and just dump here because the quarry's not going to be open tomorrow since it's Saturday. Where I can maybe come back and try to already have my rock that I need here and finish this up. Some of what I dig out up there, I'm going to just kind of spread over the top of this and then we're just going to top cut it with some new stuff. But I don't have enough up there to cover all of this area. I know that, so I'll probably get, I don't know, four or five loads of rock total. Because here's their issue they're having here, which may be hard to tell on camera, but all the rock just slopes to that porch, and then they get water on the porch and it runs back in there. It was kind of a uh, something they added on later, I think, after all this, and then they had someone come in and just kind of tailgate and dump the rock out. So I'm going to try to kind of cut here and take that hump that way. What's up, kitty? And then maybe kind of cut some of this stuff off and push it that way. What are you doing? Yeah. So I'll probably kind of try to feather that out to there and hopefully I can get it cut down enough to where, I don't know, it's kind of weird. I can't really put like a swell swell, but if I can just get it to where it's sloped off some, maybe you run away from there. Almost needs like a little curb or an edge or something.
Well, that'll work to go and I think I'm gonna get three loads. Just kind of get them staged right here because this is probably one and a half and then I still got to cut this. The other side of the truck. I mean, I've got a bunch to cut down there, not as much as what I thought, but I figure by the time, I'm gonna guess four loads by the time I tailgate one on the drive and then to top coat all of this and then fill all this right here in plus if we got any left over we can always throw it in there but i need to get it a little bit thicker and then start cutting that down before i knock any of this rock right here down but we'll go do a little dump trucking and check back here in a bit <laughs>
before uh, everybody shows up and there's a bunch of tire marks all over it. But I think it turned out pretty good. It's gonna be a lot better than what it was on their turnaround because I couldn't even make it. Uh, which, I mean, the dump truck and the trailer's pretty long, but they even had a hard time with their stock trailer and stuff. Trying to get in here, but yeah, now, like I said, they can kind of take that stump out. They can swing it around and then uh, turn around and all that. And then I got this swell cut down. It doesn't look like a whole lot, but it's probably got an inch or drop, or inch and a half a drop right off the corner. And then by the time it gets down to here, it's like 12 or 13 inches low. So I would have liked to have ran it kind of, but either way, I mean, it's got to run down the driveway is the problem. So it's going to kind of run, the whole thing kind of slopes off and it's going to run through here. So hopefully, I told them there could be a chance it may erode a little bit, but once it's packed in, it should be all right because this stuff sets up like concrete. But that's really about all you can do is just kind of, I don't know. I mean, I guess that's the only thing I can think of. I guess you come in there and put a French drain, but I can't really dig it down much more because the propane line runs that way. And then I think there's an electric line, like you said, from the house over to here. So. I got down to where it was almost dirt, so I put about three inches of rock back on top of it. So it's very subtle, but, and I try to keep it where it's not like annoying to drive on. because It's kind of weird. I mean, you kind of kind of come through here and like it twist and curve up, but yeah, I think for, like I said, they were more worried about just trying to get the water because it used to just run right down and go in the back of the house. And now it should just keep running off that way and i gotta do a little more dressing up here i drove the dump truck up here earlier yeah that's kind of how it's gonna look like i said i'll try to get a picture or something when i'm all the way done but i just want to make sure i got time to go get the last little rock that i need and then i can get back and touch this stuff up so and then i ran up and down the driveway but it's already had a few a little bit of traffic on there so but it smoothed it out quite a bit but just a little bit of touching up and we are done Let's <laughs> go.